Good evening, everyone. I'm Gavin Harrell. Uh, I'm doing my presentation on Dr. Samuel Alexander Mudd. Uh, many of us may or may not know about Dr. Mudd. Um, to the most degree, I think a lot of us are familiar. Those, that are, those of us who are familiar with Dr. Mudd, we may have some knowledge that he was a physician uh, that was thought to give aid to uh, John Wilkes Booth shortly after he assassinated the president. Uh, I live locally in the area uh, where Dr. Mudd is from, uh, which is Waldorf, Maryland. Uh, so obviously because I live in the area, I passed by his home, which is a museum. I developed, I guess, a, a pretty moderate interest into his life beyond the surface level stuff that we all come to know, or at least some of us have come to know. So I chose to do my presentation today on Dr. Samuel Alexander Mudd. Uh, Dr. Mudd was an American physician uh, who was in prison for aiding John Wilkes Booth in the assassination of President Abraham Lincoln. President Lincoln was assassinated on April 14th, uh, 1865, while attending a play at the Ford's Theater located in Washington, D.C., downtown area. Uh, when I was assigned to the patrol division uh, with the Washington, with the Metropolitan Police Department in Washington, D.C., I was assigned to patrol the area of the Forest Theater. Uh, I actually took a private tour of the location. Uh, I was able to see the area. The president, uh, Lincoln, was seated during this, during this assassination. The Forest Theater is located at 511 10th Street, Northwest Washington, D.C., uh, I saw the balcony that John Wilkes Booth uh, was thought to jump from uh, when he was making his escape. Uh, when Booth jumped from the balcony or the president's box onto the stage where the play was occurring to make his escape, this is when uh, it is believed that he sustained a broken leg as a result of his jump uh, from the balcony or the president's box. Uh, to put it in, uh, and I guess in a way that you could understand the uh, probably about a half a story jump. So it wasn't entirely uh, too much of a leap uh, from the president's box onto the stage. Uh, if you can imagine, you know, jumping down out of a second story window uh, from the president's box or the balcony onto the play stage would be, roughly be about you know, less than that, less than a half a story. Um, uh, but of course, when he made that jump, this is when we thought uh, that he sustained his injury, his just broken leg. Uh, and this is also where Dr. Uh, Mudd comes into the conspiracy uh, surrounding the assassination of President Lincoln. Uh, Dr. Mudd was from Waldorf, Maryland. Dr. Mudd's home is located at 3725 Dr. Samuel Mudd Road, Waldorf, Maryland. His home, fortunately for us, has been preserved as a museum uh, due to, you know, COVID. Uh, the museum has been closed, but as we are entering phase two uh, in my area, I imagine the Iowa sh uh, should be picking up there at the museum. Uh, Dr. Mudd was born December 20th, 1833, and he died on January 10th, 1833. Dr. Mudd uh, was well loved uh, in his area. Um, which is something I found interesting once I moved to Maryland. Uh, obviously, uh, Dr. Mudd, uh, being in, in the state of Maryland, and those that grew tobacco, those that had plantations, uh, all you know had the same thought largely, which is to preserve their industry or their economy, which is slave-based plantation labor uh, with tobacco. Uh, Dr. Mudd himself uh, is believed to have owned about six slaves. So locally within the area, he's a beloved person. So I don't know what the consensus are for you guys across the world, uh, but I think, I saw everybody introduction, so everyone I believe is locally within the States. But, you know, I'm not sure what you guys' impressions uh, are of Dr. Mudd, or if, if, if you heard of him before, but locally <clears throat> in the state of Maryland, he's pretty much a beloved figure. Uh, Dr. Mudd was, uh, of course, obviously a medical doctor uh, and a planner. Uh, his tobacco farm uh, was in Southern Maryland. 
Uh, regarding the, suspic the uh, suspicions uh, of Dr. Smud, Dr. Mudd's role in the assassination of, of the president and the aid that he provided to uh, Booth, many people, as I kind of discussed, uh, had a varied view. Um, when you examine some of the facts of the case, it is enough to make you question both Booth's innocence uh, but it's not enough evidence to give you a clear uh, understanding that he's guilty. Uh, but obviously, with his inconsistent statements, uh, you know, a person lies, obviously, to withhold the truth or to uh, evade uh, revealing, you know, pertinent information. Uh, on April 18th, 1865, Dr. Mudd was interviewed by detectives of the Metropolitan Police Department, which is the same agency where I work as a detective. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I also live in Waldorf, Maryland, uh, which is only a few minutes away from Dr. Mudd's home, which is now preserved uh, as a museum. Uh, Dr. Mudd initially told detectives uh, that he had never saw Booth prior to treating uh, his broken leg at his home on the night of April 15th. 1865 at approximately 4 a.m. After Dr. Mudd treated Booth's injury, he allowed Booth and Booth's fellow co-conspirator, David Harrell, to sleep at his home. Uh, Dr. Mudd did not notify police that Booth had been to his home until the next day, uh, almost 24 hours after he made contact with him. Uh, of course, those facts would make anyone suspicious of uh, Dr. Mudd's innocence. Uh, under, while under military escort, uh, to be further questioned, on April 16, 1865, Dr. Mudd actually changed his story about never seeing Booth. Dr. Mudd then claimed that he first met Booth in November or December the year prior, uh, in 1864. Evidence later showed that Dr. Mudd had met Booth three times prior to the assassination of President Lincoln and one final time after the assassination. Ultimately, Dr. Mudd was convicted during a by a military tribunal and was sentenced to life in prison. Dr. Mudd was sent to Fort Jefferson, uh, and of course, Fort Jefferson is located in Florida. Uh, Dr. Mudd became somewhat of a hero while in prison. Uh, Dr. Mudd assumed the role of prison doctor during a yellow fever outbreak and was successful. He treated many inmates and he was able to stop the spread of the disease within the, within the prison. But as some of you may know, Dr. Mudd would not serve a life sentence. He and his family maintained his innocence throughout the trial and the sentence. Dr. Mudd had many advocates that spoke on his behalf. Many of them were planters. Uh, many of them were prominent people within the community uh, here in Southern Maryland uh, and throughout the state of Maryland. Uh, Dr. Mudd uh, was ultimately pardoned by President Johnson, largely because of his role in fighting the, the yellow fever pan pandemic. Uh, Dr. Mudd only served approximately three years and seven months of his life sentence. Because the investigation of Dr. Mudd's involvement in the assassination was initially handled by the Metropolitan Police Department, within our police museum, we actually have a number of documentation related to the police investigation, uh, but our police museum is closed and I was not able to gain access to this information, uh, which is very unfortunate. Uh, we have a pretty nice police museum and we document, uh, you know, things since the inception of the Metropolitan Police Department, since we were founded. Uh, initially, we were a federal uh, department, so that's why today as a local uh, police agency, we wouldn't investigate something as high profile as any attack on a president. But at that time, Secret Service, uh, agencies such as that, um, CIA, they, they weren't developed yet. So of course, anything dealing with the president, any, any other matters in DC, it was our job, we was tasked with handling those things. Uh, a fun fact regarding Dr. Mudd's relatives, uh, his, I believe, great, 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 great grandson, uh, was a police officer uh, at, at uh, DC Police, which is the Metropolitan Police Department. Uh, he eventually resigned uh, and he took a position uh, further south 
in Maryland and became a detective. I actually picked up the phone earlier uh, and gave him a call uh, to interview him to see if he would be willing to take part in this presentation. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I wasn't able to reach him. Uh, I left my contact information, so hopefully uh, he reaches out to me. Uh, if so, I'll probably do, you know, if we have an area within our discussion board where I can post uh, the interview, that's if he agrees to it, uh, just so you guys can see it. I thought that was pretty neat, a living relative of Dr. Mudd. Um, there is a consensus here in, in Maryland about Dr. Mudd's innocence, uh, and obviously in this area, it's largely that he was innocent. Uh, uh, Booth, of course, was a Southern sympathizer. Uh, he wasn't from the Deep South, uh, to my knowledge, didn't uh, play any large role, but he was definitely a Southern sympathizer. Uh, Dr. Mudd, uh, a planter, stand to, to lose his livelihood as a result of the Civil War. Uh, of course, any uh, folks that were forming, uh, you know, uh, uh, developing and cultivating uh, tobacco, any of the cash crops of that day would stand to lose, you know, a substantial amount of wealth. So, of course, as we know, Lincoln wasn't a very popular person to that uh, section of the, the American economy at that time. Uh, Dr. Mudd being one of those people, and that's partly why he was viewed as being a co-conspirator, um, not to mention the fact that he lied about a lot of things. Honestly, after reading through a lot of documentation on him, you know, my honest opinion, I would say he definitely wasn't an innocent man. He knew of, you know, the conspiracy, how much he would know is unknown. Uh, factually, it's unknown. Uh, so, uh, but locally uh, in Maryland, he's well-liked, well-loved. Uh, the way I first heard of Dr. Mudd was through some police officers that I work with who are like part-time history buffs. A lot of folks uh, in the area spoke highly of him. And because I live in Waldorf, uh, I was encouraged to go visit uh, his museum, which I haven't, but I plan to soon. Uh, thank you all. Have a great day.